Hello, this is lesson number 23, and we're going to talk about a variation for Cumberland Gap. Um, as, I, as I said to um, uh, tunes are made out of, you know, a flow of, of, of music, but the individual bars are like licks, Lego parts that you can uh, uh, interchange. And so we're going to learn uh, a new bar, a new thing that's, that's very, very important for banjo, and you will hear uh, for as long as you play bluegrass, uh, this will s uh, stay with you. Um, so we start off with a slide, but we but we do a different roll. So the roll is called an alternated thumb roll. So you start with the thumb, then you play the index finger of the second string, then you play the fifth string with your thumb, and you play your middle finger first. So it's thumb, index, and here it comes thumb, and the middle. So that's alternating thumb pattern. We're going to talk about this one uh, a lot as well in the future. So let's combine that with a slide. So instead of going the forward roll like this, like we used to, like, you know, did in other pieces, we go and then fifth string, and then first. So that's the first four notes. And now comes something new. Uh, it's called a pull-off. And a pull-off is, let's, uh, I, I take two, 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 two fingers, you know, the middle finger and the index finger, and put them on the same string, on the third string. And I take the middle finger, and I pull the string like this and make it sound so I can get the note of this second here. So I put the middle finger on there and pull it away. So I can play the, the third string like this and then see I get it I get another note. You see that second note is almost as loud or you know a different quality but it's loud you can hear it really well that takes some practice because uh, you need to figure out how can you pull that off to make that make that sound some people are more comfortable in pushing the finger up the effect is the same it really doesn't matter you know some people are just more comfortable that way or this way and also when you when you push up Maybe your, your finger gets out of the way for the second string, you know, not to m mute it when you, when, you, when you do the, the pull down. So your index finger just stays always on that fret, on the second fret, on the third string, and your middle finger is the only one finger that really moves. So I hold my, my hand quite, quite straight down, not, not flat, straight down, huh? like this, pretty straight down. Uh, you see, not not like this, uh, yeah, like this. So, in order to do that, sometimes you know, I just have my thumb really, not like that, but at least a little bit like that, maybe. Yeah. In the beginning, you know, just try to keep your wrist a little bit straight here. So. So I can combine this with another uh, alternated thumb pattern, which is third string second string same beginning as before but instead of the fifth string we play the third string again so it's four notes third index second thumb third and middle first so so i can let's do the pull off here patient with yourself because it's not something that you probably will not be able to do really well you know in just five minutes but in order to learn more difficult things like like these um, you have to give yourself a few days it's like when you you know you, you maybe have a, a little a little cut on your hand you know paper cut or something it takes a few days you know to really really heal and uh, this, this, this is how our mind works. It just takes a few days. It's a, there's a delay. You know, we, we just have to 
uh, go back. You know, we do we do it a few times. You know, we do it a few times, and it doesn't sound really good, and it feels a little awkward, and it's just not. Well, then do it a few more times. Come back in the evening, do it again. Come back next day, and don't expect it right away to feel good or you know uh, right or sound good even. You know, just go back and go back and go back and. Don't get frustrated and all of a sudden, wow, it sounds better and better and better, you know? So the, so the entire bar is like this. Slide with the other thumb. And then the pull off. And you can hear that when Alan Scruggs is playing so much like in doing my time. times I'm sure so this is what it is and you see I I'm, I'm working on different ideas of how I can make that slide sound I can make the slide going just to the four I can make the slide go just to, to the three or I can even slide and bend the, 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 the string a little bit while I'm sliding and that even gives me a little bit more twang a lot of people sometimes think it's the banjo that sounds twangy but it's actually just out of tune but, but that gives in the context of things. Pull my badge out of string out of tune in. So we can put this instead. I, I, I put a little. Here, here it is. See, this is the this one here on the, the, the individual one. Slide and then the pull off. Okay. And so you see, I got a number one on there. So that means you can exchange it with bar number one on combo and gap. So here we go. Combo and gap on the. Because I changed the first bar only, uh, and four bar piece of music becomes like an eight bar piece of music, you know, from the feeling. Uh, so let's, I, I play one more time. <laughs> well, and please, you don't have to play it that fast. I'm just, I just want to show you how this really, you know, will sound like. So be patient again with yourself and be kind to yourself. Don't expect too much and go slow and it'll, it'll all be fine. Trust me, it'll all be good. 